What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'd like to thank all 38 of my subscribers and everybody else who's watched my videos. I appreciate the support. So what's the best turbo inlet pipe for the MK7 GTI? Turbo inlet pipe is just a little elbow. Just like my girlfriend gives me when I'm trying to sleep peacefully. Today we're gonna to be talking about turbo inlet pipes. What is it? What does it do? Do you need to buy one? And more importantly, will a turbo inlet pipe actually make a difference for your MK7 GTI? In order to understand how the turbo inlet pipe works, we have to understand how the air flows through the car's engine. Now, in order to do that, I'm gonna show you guys here. So, Kugeli's hood pull. In order to better understand how a turbo inlet pipe works and what it does, we have to understand the airflow in the engine bay. The air goes in through here. This is where the air filter is. It then travels through the accordion hose into the turbo inlet pipe, which leads into the turbo itself. As you guys can see, uh, it's kind of hard, but I have a uh, CTS turbo, turbo inlet pipe. And as you can see, it's the pipe that connects the accordion hose from the air box to the actual inlet of the turbo. The stock turbo inlet pipe is pretty small and restricted. This causes resistance to the air coming into the turbo, which means that the turbo will now have to work harder in order to spin the blades to overcome that resistance for it to produce maximum boost. This means that it's gonna take your car longer to reach peak boost and it's gonna get there slower. Upgrading your turbo inlet pipe alleviates some of this. An upgraded turbo inlet pipe has a larger diameter as opposed to the OEM one, and it allows for better airflow. Now, is this measurably better? Yes. According to mygolfmk7.com, which is a forum that I love, he does airflow tests on all these turbo inlet pipes, and you can see the differences between the stock one and the aftermarket inlet pipes. With the upgraded turbo inlet pipe, you'll have less restriction to the air coming in the turbo, which means that the turbo will be able to spool up faster and produce boost at lower RPM, theoretically speaking, because it's relatively cheap. They're usually around like 90 to $150, depending on which one when you buy. It will create a small difference in your driving experience because when you floor it, you'll feel the boost much sooner and it'll build up much quicker. It's very important to know that the accordion hose leading up to the turbo intake pipe is also restrictive. It's not restrictive by nature, but it causes turbulence because of those accordion folds that it has in it. If you change the inlet pipe as well to a smooth pipe, then you'll get more power. Should you buy one? Should you buy a turbo intake pipe? Yes, it is definitely a worth it mod. It's not too expensive. It actually makes a difference to your car. There's scientific evidence that it flows better than your stock turbo inlet pipe. So I don't see why not. My advice to you is go on to mygolfmk7.com, read the stats, see which turbo inlet pipe is the best for you. I personally bought the CTS turbo inlet pipe, even though I did do the research, some of them are hard to find. So if you can find a BMS, if you can find an MST, if you can find any of those top rated turbo inlet pipes, and if you buy a turbo inlet pipe, also buy that intake accordion hose. As you can see, I didn't buy it on my car, but it does make a difference and it does improve airflow. Now we have to talk about which turbo inlet pipe is the best for the MK7 GTI. You look over the numbers here, you can see that they all vary. However, they are all better than the stock. With this in mind, you can see that the APR is the worst performing one. Sadly, it is not worth paying the APR tax. It's a little more expensive than some other ones, but worst performing. So I would not buy the APR one, but anything above that is fair game. You're gonna get increased airflow, faster spool, and better overall performance of your car for only like $100. Totally worth it mod, I recommend that you do it. 